Hello and welcome to a new video about digital technology. Now that we know how a mono stable time element is working, I can show you how to use it. One usage is to produce an on delay. Right? So we want to delay a rising edge and make it later simply. How is this working? I show you the principle. I show you the principle. So we have of course this time element somewhere. Mm, time element, and we have an end block. These are the two things we need for the function end. Here is the output. Here we have an inverted output, non inverted output. This is the time element. So let's say I don't know, no two milliseconds. Why not? Yeah. And here is the input. And actually what we do is we do it like that. Here. Alright. So this is the input signal I. This is X, the output. This is not X, huh? inverted output of the time element. And this is the output of the of the whole logic. So if we have somewhere an I, the input, and the input is changing at a certain time from 0 to 1. Let's say this is happening and then it will disappear later. Right? It will disappear later. So at this point in time we want to delay the, the, the goal is that we have to delay this. Huh? So if we have a look at X, then it would look like this. Exactly when this is triggered, we will change. Stay there for two milliseconds and then disappear again. This is what X is doing. And not X is of course doing exactly the opposite. So would stay high. Zack, yeah. here, this is here. Uh, stay high, go low, change to high again. This is what not X is doing. And now this end is combining I and not X. So let's have a look what this X is doing. Here it's zero because i is zero. Here it will stay zero because not x is zero. Yeah? And here both are one, we are changing to one. And when i is gone, it will also be gone. Yeah? And suddenly I have exactly reached what I want to have. Here, here's the delay time. Delay of the rising edge for 2 milliseconds, because this is switching here 2 milliseconds. This would be if we have an ideal world. This is ideal. Now let's have a look what is happening if we consider switching time. Yeah? This is with switching time now. Let's try to make exactly the same. So at some point in time we go to high, later we go to low. Okay? So this is again those two times. And now, yes, it is triggered. However, not now, but a little bit later. So there is some switching time of this time element here. Then at 2 milliseconds we will drop again. We're looking like that. And if we have a look at this, this not X, we are high, changing a little bit later to low. Here. Yeah. 
a little bit later to low and then we change to high again and now look at what is happening at our end here we are low and here suddenly a short time both are one so both are one and usually those time elements has longer switching time than the end element so we see here a peak all right then we change back to zero and here we are going to one again and here we're going to low. So it's not just a delay. I have a short peak when the rising edge is coming. Yeah? And then uh, this short peak will disappear. And then after the delay time, I have a signal, a stable signal. This is not good. This is not nice. Yeah? Don't want, I want to delay the rising edge and not make do. Huh? So I have to adapt my, my thing here a little bit. However, the basic function was alright. So I'm using again this time element. I'm using again an end element. Because the only problem is that we have to... This I is here too soon. So actually what we do is we delay this I. So we make here two more elements inside so that the switching time of those two elements is longer than the switching time. And these are two knots. All right. Why knots? Because there is always a knot somewhere. All right. So that's, that's it. We have here I, the input. Yeah. We have here again x, and we have again here, of course, not x, and we have again here the output O. If I find my blue pen, yes, here it is, O. So those two things, they don't have any logic sense. They're only there to delay from i to, call it ix, all right? So let's zoom in a little bit. We have i. Tuck, going to high, going to high, and here Ix, Ix is a little bit delayed. The switching element of those two things. Yeah? Here, this is, this is Ix here. This is the thin line. All right, so we have the thin line and Let's draw the other signals as well. Draw the other signals as well. And here we are. Let's have a look at X. Here's X. We have again a little bit later, but not as late as this. Yeah? We are changing somewhere in between. Right? So here this is that's, that's a third time now. Yeah. We are changing in between and after two milliseconds we are dropping again. Zack. This is what is happening here. Yeah. And if we have a look at not at not x, yeah. where is my pen? Again I am searching for my pen. <laughs> we are changing to here. All right, here, here, and at this point in time, we are changing as well. This is not X. And now we make an end, the output is an end, between the thin line and the other. So we are going here. Yeah? Here nothing is changing because this is not even has not even changed, this Ix has not even changed to one. Yeah? Here this not x is disappearing. So up to here we have nothing. And here we go up 
and here we go down. All right. The only thing which is now differing from that ideal world is this switching time. Yeah. So also the off is a little bit delayed. However, the on is delayed for exactly those two milliseconds. Delay two milliseconds. And this is how this should look like. Yeah. As a, the only thing which is ch changed from the ideal variant is that we have here, if we're going low, again the, the, the switching time of those elements in. Okay. Hmm? But not that severe than an additional pike. Hmm? How for this element we even have a symbol looking like that. Hmm? Zack, 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 zack. That's that. And here we have here zzzz. We have on delay 2 milliseconds, off delay 0. Zack, zack. Here we have the input i. Here we have the output o. And this here is the symbol of this, which you can use. This is how an on delay is working. And how you see at the symbol, there are two values. Well, so there is also, there's not only an on delay, there is also an off delay. And there is even elements out there with an on delay and an off delay. How those elements are working, working pretty similar, but I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you in next video. So this is on delay with two elements which have Obviously, no logical function, however, are there to, to reach the function, the desired function, uh, simply necessary. And now you know why sometimes elements are inside which are not even, which make no sense at first view. Right. Like I said, next time we are going to watch off delay and on off delay. For this time, thank you very much for listening. Goodbye.